In this video, we are continuing our derivation of an unbiased estimator of sigma squared, and this is where we got up to at the last video. So we proved that the left-hand side was equal to this right-hand side. And working on this right-hand side a bit further, we know that the trace operator and the expectations operator are both unaffected by order. So essentially what we can do is we can just take the trace of now having the expected value of mx times y times y primed times mx. And if you can read that last bit a bit better, so it's mx like that. And then we have this whole thing given that we already have x here. Okay, so then we can say that this is equal to the trace. Well, the expectations operator, or the conditional expectation operator, isn't going to affect these mx terms here, because essentially the expectation of them is just themselves, because mx just contains x. So the only thing that we're going to be left with to take the expectation is, so we're going to have mx times the expectation of y, and uh, we're going to have that y multiplied by y primed, given that we have x, and then multiplying it all afterwards by mx primed, actually. I should say that we've got mx primed here rather than mx. And we know that the expectation of y times y primed is just going to be equal to, if I write it down, the expectation of y times, then we're having y primed given x is just going to be equal to the identity matrix times sigma squared. Okay, so then we can operate on our expression a little bit further. So that means we're left with the trace of we're going to have mx times mx primed. Uh, and then we just have the operation of multiplying this by the identity matrix. So we just the only thing we're left with is a sigma squared. And in the next video, we're going to complete our derivation of sigma hat squared or deriving an unbiased estimator of sigma hat squared or of sigma squared rather. I'll see you then.